Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I had a dream last night and I had a vision. And before I went to bed, I prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, would you give me a word to share? And the dream that I had, I saw a newborn baby. And then I heard these words, God himself is nurturing this baby. And then later on, when I woke up, I saw a vision. And in this vision, I saw this beautiful branch. It was a bunch of branches on this long stem. And I noticed at the very end of the stem area, there was this beautiful red berry. And I was looking at it in I don't know what kind of a branch you would call it, but it sure looked healthy. It was brown. It had several branches coming out from the long stem. But the branches weren't too thin and they weren't real thick either. I guess you could say they were just right. <laughs> it was beautiful. But I was looking at that one little red berry and so I was thinking about the meaning. And I think God is saying new beginnings. I really believe that's what he's saying because the baby was newborn and I heard that voice say, God himself is nurturing this baby. And then the branch had that one red berry on it. So, I think God is saying He's going to give you a new beginning. There are many people that want a new beginning, maybe in certain areas. It could be a job. It could be a business. It could be restoration of families. It could be many, many different things. You can think about your own life. And you could just think about what you're asking God for, what you've been asking Him for. And you may have even started something already, but it's in the beginning stages. And so... If you're wondering about it, if you're wondering if God is blessing your new beginning, then just remember that God himself is nurturing this new beginning, this baby. If you feel like it's really God's will, now if you don't know if it's God's will or not, you need to go to prayer about it and make sure that it is God's will because we all need to take our petitions before the Father. We need to make sure about different paths that we take in our life because we don't want to end up going against God's will. We don't want to end up going down the wrong path if it's not God's will. But God is saying He's going to give you a new beginning. He's telling me I'm going to give you a new beginning. And God's going to bless us. And I'm thinking that He's going to bless us now. And He's going to bless 2024. I think God's going to give the nation new beginnings. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you know that I believe that God has spoken to me and said that Trump will be back in office. 
and a lot of people may not agree with that but I'm sticking with what I believe the Lord showed me I really believe that God has spoken to me and remember do not despise small beginnings a lot of times we just want something and we want it now and we want God to bless us so abundantly right away in our business or whatever it is that we're pursuing after but many times God may want us to take the long circuitous route remember how the children of Israel had to take that long circuitous route because God had quite a few things to teach them but whatever God does it's in his perfect timing and it's his perfect will so we've just got to learn to look to him and put our total trust in him because if we follow his way then we are definitely taking the right path. I would like for you to stay tuned for Frankincense and Myrrh. Welcome. Welcome to the storybook moment for kids and every kid at heart from 1 to 110. This is Brenda Harris blessing you in Christ's name. Mama just happened to overhear a conversation. Mama's keen ears picked up the joy in her daughter's tone as well as the enormous interest in the voice of her newfound friend. Daughter exclaimed, My mama just bought some new bars of soap, and they smell delicious. I even look forward to taking a shower now. The friend replied, I was going to ask you the name of your perfume. You smell so nice. Daughter responded, Out of all the bars of soap, my favorite is frankincense and myrrh. Not only does it smell good, but it makes my skin feel so soft. And I like frankincense and myrrh because those were the gifts that the baby Jesus received after he was born. The friend asked, Who is baby Jesus? Daughter's eyes grew large with surprise before asking, You don't know who Jesus is? The little friend said, why, no, I have never heard of Jesus. Mama was shocked. A forlorn thought entered her mind. We live in America, the richest country in the world, and there is a child in it that has never heard of Jesus. Mama was so proud of her daughter because her daughter began telling the little friend all about Jesus. After this, Mama had a conversation with her husband who in turn had a conversation with their pastor. Soon the whole church rallied and a newborn ministry began called the Baby Jesus. Donations were received periodically and a church bus was bought specifically for this ministry. The mother's daughter asked her newfound friend to go to this ministry. They would meet on Sunday mornings for Sunday school as well as special Saturday meetings. Talented people in that church knew exactly how to make the Bible come to life for young children. The daughter's friend asked all of her friends, and their friends asked all of their friends. The ministry exploded. Not only did the young kids attend the Baby Jesus ministry, but on Saturdays the adults attended as well on the pretext of bringing their little ones there. Years later, Mama was thinking about it all. She was thanking Jesus for all the lives that the ministry had changed because it had not only reached young children, but it had reached parents and grown siblings of the young ones as well. I believe that's what the baby Jesus had in mind all along, don't you? Precious little ones, there is a world of missionary fields. Missionaries are sent out from America all over the world. But America needs missionaries 
right here in our own backyard. And now this concludes the storybook moment. May Jesus lift you up in his arms and give you the biggest hug and kiss that you ever did receive.